Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting Maya tutorial. Today we'll be finishing off the animations for the low poly tree we made and rigged in previous episodes. This is the finished result. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so we have the Maya scene open here. First of all, let's do a few modifications. Um, let's recreate the I key tree because we want the bottom of our tree to always be on the ground. We will start the I key with the second joint here. So let's just remake it. There and there. And now when we move it, it should always be the bottom part of the tree is always on the ground. Okay, good. Now let's start creating the animation. As you can see in the bottom of the screen here, you have a timeline. And if we, let's, let's make this the default position for our tree. So we, if we select the IK handle and the mesh and be sure to be on the first frame here, press S. We recur, we re just recorded our first frame, which is in the default position for our tree. Now let's move to frame 30 and move it a bit. as if the wind is blowing from that direction. Now we hit S again. Let's go to frame 60. And this is very much up to you how you want it to look exactly, how bent you want the tree to be and if it's a light breeze or if it's like a, a very powerful wind that is blowing. Okay, let's... I've recorded another frame at 60 and now for the final one, which is going to be at 90, I'm just going to copy the first frame back. Okay, so we have a loop. There we go. Now, if we play it, you can see we have a little bit of a problem because it twists and bends uh, weirdly. So what we can do, if we go here, make sure the animation menu is selected. If we go to Window, Animation Editors, and Graph Editors, you can see another window is gonna open. For you, it's gonna be something like this, but I just have it on another monitor here. You are able to see it in the bottom right corner. Okay, so if we select the IK handle, you can see we have all the animation graphs in here. What we are interested in is the rotation of the tree, which is a little bit exaggerated. And we can just visually look what lines are extremely exaggerated. If we look at rotate X, for example, it's extremely exaggerated. So we, what we can do is select this bottom part of the graph here and bring it back and maybe let it rotate just a little bit. So now if we go back to our tree, we can close this window. If we go back to our tree and play the animation again, you can see it doesn't rotate weirdly anymore. What you also can do when you have extra frames down here is set the limit 
of the animation down here to as many frames as you have. So now when you play, it's not gonna play the other ones that you have extra. So you can see the animation repeating. You can tweak the animation however you like. And when you're happy with the result you got, we can select the mesh and the joints and go to file, send to unity. Let's first, if it's your first time creating for this project that you're working on, go to set unity project and go to your Go to your folder, to your Unity Projects folder, which in this case is going to be Exercise Project. And select. And now going back to File, Send to Unity, and say, and, and say Selection. So we only send the mesh and the joints, because the IK cannot be imported into Unity. Now a window will pop up. We'll go down here to animations, make sure animations is selected and go here down here to bake animations, make sure bake animations is selected and the start frame should be one usually and in this case the end frame is 90 because we made 90 frames. Also here on deform, deformed models Make sure it's selected and skin and blend shapes. And that's it. Um, now, if we give it a name, we might, we might just want for the sake of cleanliness to create a folder in here where we say props and save all our uh, Maya objects in here. Let's call this low poly tree and press export selection. And that should be it. Now, if we go and open Unity, open our project, we have an empty scene here. Let's make a plane which will act as our ground real quick there we go let's make it bigger we don't have any lights if we go to lighting skybox material let's choose the default one also let's make a directional light which will act as our sun which we put in there. Sun. Ground. There we go. Let's make a material for our ground. Ground material. Let's go back to the expector. Let's give it like a greenish tint. Let's apply it. There we go. It's still a little bit dark for some reason. Let's check that the sun is shining on. There we go, that's, that's better. It is very metallic, which not a very good idea for a ground. Let's make the color it a bit greener. That's that's better. And let's make it big, big, big. There we go. Now, if we go to props, we should have 
R3 imported. Only it seems that we have a little bit of a problem and it only imported the main branch. So let's go back to this and make sure everything else under this is selected. This is one of the things with Maya when you select a parent group it doesn't select all the childs in it. So let's make sure everything is selected here. It's a little bit harder with the joints because it, each joint is the child of the other joint in our case. There we go. So we're making sure everything is going to be selected. And let's go to File and Send to Unity again. Send Selection. We make sure our animation is correctly set up again. And we save on top of this one. Say Export Selection. And yes. Anyway, let's see if it worked. There we go. We have the tree imported correctly now. Let's see if the animation is also working. If we select the tree on, on the right here, we can press play and see the animation. We, we can see the animation is playing. So that is good. Perfect. If we go to the materials tab here and uh, in the use embedded materials, let's say extract material and sell and say and and save it here with the prop just because we want to have our this material separately. Now what we have to do is go where we last saved our texture for for our tree. In my case is in documents, Maya, projects, default and images. And in here, there we go, we have our texture. We can drag it in here. Now we also have the texture so we can apply it to our material. There we go. Now one side of the tree is very lighted up and the other one is very dark. That's why, that's because we don't have, and at least I don't think we have, uh, any ambient light. So if we go to lighting, let's change it from skybox to a color. And we can now choose, for example, A lighter color that will give us a little bit a little bit of that on on here right now we we placed our tree what we want to do next is have a look on why it doesn't cast any shadows at the moment everything seems to be normal in, on our tree it, it's made to cast shadows and the ground is made to receive shadows so it must be a problem with our lighting if we go to our lighting yeah there we go we have no shadows let's say soft shadows there we go so we have the tree with its shadows 
and what we want to do now so we can see the animations is we already have an animator here as you can see is to create an animation controller if we right click in the project window here go to create and animator controller and call these three animations we can now we can now go to animator win the animator window and drag in you can see the the tree has a little arrow here and if we press it we can see all the components inside of it and at the bottom here you can see this which is called take 001 and that is our animation we can also change the name of that from if we press on the tree and go to animations you can see the name right there we can call this wind animation and leave it from 1 to 90 because that's what we want what we have and now if we go back you can see it's called wind animation we click and just drag it in here and now it it was made uh, the default animation for our tree so when it, the game starts so entry it's just gonna start doing the wind animation by default uh, in our case because we want to just demonstrate how it looks we can leave it like that we also want to make sure that we loop this animation so if we go back to our tree we make sure loop time is selected down here and press apply and now the animation should just loop indefinitely and I think if we press play we should be able to see our animation running There we go. We cannot see it in the game window because the camera is not set up correctly. So, but we can see it in the scene view at the moment. But yeah, that's our tree and that's how you make a very simple animation for your tree and export it afterwards to Unity. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you liked this series of videos and if you liked what you saw and want to see more, please press subscribe, maybe give it a like or a share. And if you really have the possibility, please consider supporting me on Patreon from just a dollar a month. Thank you and see you next time.